What's up guys? It is a Monday. There's an afternoon hunt going down right now. We just had a little bit of rain and uh, there's a big buck hanging out in this area. And uh, I'm gonna go sit in a spot I've never sat before, but I have a camera there. And he's been showing up there during the day, occasionally. Not frequently, but occasionally. So I'm hoping to see something new today. Like I said, it's a spot I've never hunted. So we're going on an adventure today. A big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Sorry to interrupt your video, but I just got to make a quick announcement, guys. We are giving away a four pack of the XOP X2 sticks and their new Invader platform. And all you got to do to get into the giveaway is become a Patreon member. These sticks are so awesome. We tried them out at our workshop a couple months ago. We liked them so much that we just had to get a set of them to give away to our Patreons because we appreciate everything that the Patreons do for the channel. If you want to know why we think these are so awesome, make sure you click up here or maybe it's over there somewhere up here uh, to go check out the gear review that I just finished filming for these. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, what's up guys? So we're uh, back out here on an afternoon hunt. It's a pretty good breeze going on here. This is a completely new spot for me. I've, I've never sat here before. The reason I'm here is there's, there's a lot of food here. There's a lot of palmetto berries and gold berries. Just a lot of good bedding habitat. 
and I know there's a big buck in this area. I've been getting pictures of him on a camera that's like four or five, six hundred yards, basically straight across this pond that I'm sitting on right now. So I feel like he lives around here somewhere. Decided uh, move over here and just do an observation set. I can see a long ways from here. I got this trail right here we call the corridor. Coming up here on my right, I can see that really clearly. Um, and then back behind me here, it's all gallberries. Lots of bedding habitat. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Been in, I've been bedridden with Strepler for the last few days. Still sick, um, but my antibiotics are starting to work. I'm feeling a little better, and my cell camera has been blowing up the last few days while I've been sick. There's been a lot of daytime movement. Um, this is about the time that Spartan Forge is predicting that the rut is going to peak in this area, um, which is it's pretty exciting um, to see. A rut prediction that's different from all the other ones because we all know that South Florida is weird uh, so uh, I was pretty excited to see that rut prediction and seeing the activity on my camera um, the last few days I, I think it's pretty accurate um, I saw I had two bucks come through chasing a doe up by one of my spots um, yesterday and then I had another shooter buck come through twice today once early this morning and again um like a couple hours ago so kind of hesitant about which one of those two spots i want to sit um i'm kind of thinking the one that the buck just went through uh, a couple hours ago um because my theory is if the scent of deer is in the area it's likely that more deer are going to follow there's a perfect moon phase for the evening, hoping that they're gonna move in that evening time. We'll see what happens, but I, I definitely have high hopes for this one. So stay tuned. So I'm set up here.
there's a there's a real nice eight point and I caught him on a camera like 400 yards this way and um, generally speaking I'm not saying always but generally speaking he'll come through here this spot he'll go over there he'll come back over here so the fact that I had him there yesterday I'm hoping he's gonna come through here today so we'll see what happens Oh. oh, that's not what I was going for. I might get lucky here, though. There he goes. Oh my god, I am so incredibly lucky. Oh my god. Oh my god. I screwed that up. Holy crap. I screwed that up big time. I flinched on the shot. I don't even know what happened, but it looks like I my arrow went in right above the femoral artery. Or, I mean, sorry, right above the, like in front of the ham. And I caught that femoral artery and I knew it as soon as I hit because as soon as he turned and ran, blood started gushing out of him. And uh, I mean, he didn't go 50 yards. He, he bled out so fast. Holy crap. I, I got lucky with that. Oh my God, but you know what? It's better to be, it's better to be lucky than, than good. I can't believe that. I just knew it. I knew that buck was coming by today. That's the buck that he, this is the third time he's come through here today. He's clearly looking for a hot doe in the area. I don't know where she is, but wow. I can't believe it. All right, 
Alright y'all. Heading out here to go claim a deer. Now, I saw it drop. So I guess I don't really need to do the blood trail, but I kinda want to since I know it was such a bad hit. And I saw blood gushing out. So here's my arrow. Looks like the knock actually broke off right there, see? And uh, yeah, I mean, there's gut material all over it. But, so I shot him. I think he went, he went like this. I don't know exactly when, but I think pretty quickly I saw blood gushing out of him. Is that blood? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh yeah, see there's blood right there on these palmettos. He bounded through here. Let's see what other blood we can find. Yeah, see there's blood, a bunch of blood. I mean, He's dumping blood. Look at that. So much blood. And then, uh, let's see. I don't know if he went this way. Oh, yeah. See, there's more blood right there. It's already dried up. It's been a few hours. There's more blood. And he came this way. I don't know if we're going to find blood on this grass. He ran over this way. I'm not even really looking for blood at this point. Because <coughs> I know he fell right over here. Yep, there he is. Nice little buck. Tall fork right there. Look at that. Oh, look at those ants. Yeah, they're all over him. But, uh, he's a nice little buck. Legal 10 inches. That's really all I was looking for. So, I guess this is as good a spot as any to gut him out. So, that's what I'm going to do. And then, uh, get him the heck out of here. Go home.